Okay guys, so the first key fundamental that we're going to talk about in playing goalie today is stance. And stance is a really key aspect in playing goalie because you want to be comfortable in net. You want to be consistent in your stance. You always want to be setting up for shots in the same way. And you, and you want to have a solid base. So the first thing we're going to do is set up in an athletic position. I always like to have my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Some people think that I have a really wide stance, but this is the way that I felt most comfortable. I felt like I could move in any direction out of this stance, and I felt like I was always in a good athletic stance. You never see a linebacker in NFL walk up to the line of scrimmage standing up straight or standing up on his toes. You see him coming up to the line of scrimmage, getting set in a nice low stance, and having his feet wide and having a nice firm base. So that's the first thing is feet. So feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. The second thing is knees. We want to have our knees bent nice and low. I see a lot of young goalies today, they try to stand up straight and then they can never get to the low bouncers or they try to get down to low bouncers by bending their back. If you bend your knees nice and low, then it's really easy to pop up on high shots and then you're already down there for low shots. So having nice bent knees is also very important. The other key part of having bent knees is that it puts the weight on the balls of your feet. A lot of goalie coaches teach their goalies to be up on their toes and what happens is the goalies are falling forward as the shooters winding up. One of the key aspects that we'll talk about later in playing goalie is that it's really important to be completely still as the shooters winding up. So if you're up on your toes and falling forward it's going to be really hard for you to see the ball when you're doing that. So by having your knees bent all the weight's already in the balls of your feet. There's not very much weight in my heels and I'm ready to move in a nice quick reaction. After that, we're gonna talk about our back. A lot of, go some goalies you'll see have their backs bent over, okay? The most, the thing that's gonna really help you in goal take up a lot of room and be square to the shooter is having a nice flat back. With your knees bent and your back flat, you're still taking up a lot of room in goal even though you're getting down low for those low shots. The next thing is hands. Hands are very important. The hand positioning, where your hands are on the stick, and where your hands are in, per, in respect to your body are, are very important to the way you're going to be able to react to the ball quickly and, and make the save. So one thing I see a lot with young goalies is they'll have their hands super high, super wide. Okay, with super wide hands, you have a really long arc on your stick as you're moving around. Also, it's very hard for you to move your stick around quickly because it's a really wide circle to move from there. I like to have my hands about chest width apart or about tw 12 inches apart. I have tape on the middle of my stick that shows me where my bottom hand needs to be. With my hands like this, I can move my hands quickly and get my stick all over the goal wherever I need to be to make the save. Also, with my hands like this, I can make quick choppy movements instead of big, broad circles. One of the things that I like to talk about on off hip shots that we may talk about later is taking a karate chop across my body. So with my hands nice and close together, I can chop across the body and make that save easily. So with all those things, those are the important key aspects of having a great stance. Nice wide base, knees bent, back straight, and hands about 12 inches ap apart on your stick. The last thing and the final thing that we need to talk about are arms. Some kids try to step, start out with their arms in too close to their body, with their elbows in tight. This is, makes it really hard for you to move your stick around. Also, with your helmet on, your stick can get caught up on your face mask. It's really important to have your arms out and away from your body so you can move quickly and get your hands wherever they need to be. The final thing about that is you take away a little bit of angle. The way I like to play is back in the goal and we'll talk about that in the next section. But by having your hands out, you're able to attack the ball with your hands and stop, and stop the ball a little bit further out than back on the line. So those are all the key main ingredients to a great stance. So that's a great place for you to start. One great exercise for you to do with stance is get in front of a mirror at home, either your bathroom mirror or a floor mirror, and see how your stance looks. Work on the things that you need to work on to make your stance better. 
One thing I tell kids all the time is that you need to get in the same stance over and over and over again. I'm, I am completely comfortable being in my goalie stance. I could sit here all day. So once you get to that place where you feel completely comfortable with your stance and everything's where it needs to be, then you know you're on the right track.